Hey guys, Zen up here, and we are underneath the trailer right now, looking at the um, septic, I guess, access point, whatever it's called. And this is where the gray water and the gray water and the black water come out and go into the septic tank. One of the things that I've had a problem with is that I cannot see if it's clean or not. Um, I pour water through and I guess when I stop hearing plump plump then I kind of stop but I never really know if everything's out. So we went and bought one of these and it's clear so I can see what's flowing through and it also has a um, nozzle here so I can push water through that little hole there to go into the pipe and break up any clogs that are there. Also, I have a little nozzle on this side that will um, clean out the hose completely for me by just hooking up a hose and turning this knob to either off. Uh, this one here says hose. This one here says tank. So just by flicking the switch, it will shoot water, high pressure water, to whichever direction I want. And I will be able to see if it is completely clean in there. So we are going to install this today and hopefully not get sewage all over us. Yeah, that's going to be nasty. I'm going to start by moving everything out of the way that I care dearly about, including my feet. And go to disconnect this. We're going to leave this kind of angled up just in case there is something in there. Oh, a little bit of liquid. Huh, looks pretty clean actually. You guys see in there? That's cool. So we'll take this, get on, take this, get on to here nice and tight. Move the hose a little bit. Very crimp it the way that we need it to be now. Okay. So, I know there's some stuff in there. If you are squeamish at all, this is the point where you look away and we will see what we see. Look at that nastiness. Oh, that's so disgusting. But how great is it that I can see if it's clogged up or not, or see if it's all clear. Now all I have to do is just go turn on the hose. Look at this. $22 is what that cost me. But I wanted one that I could shoot water back into it with. Because sometimes it gets a little clogged and I need a lot of pressure to make it do its thing. So we will go turn on the fresh water now and see when this all gets clear. So here is where the sewer flush tank is. See, sewer flush tank. We have Craftsman hose there, lifetime warranty, and being part of the sewer, I might want that. And we will take this in here and plug it into the other opening right here. And then with the flick of the switch, we have fresh water going through the hose into the top of the water inlet for that. And this uh, trailer has a special design in the little spritzer thing that sprays out all the sensors for uh, the levels for the black water. So now let's go in here. And see what we have to see. Here you can see 
The water is a lot cleaner now. Still some chunks and stuff in there. So we are going to close the valve and stop the water from coming out. Let it all build back up, fill up the tank completely, and then see what comes out now. Okay, as you can see, the black water tank is now full. So let's go outside and flush it. Okay, so we'll pull the lever. I got a lot more stuff out. Just clean it out completely. We'll flush this a couple times, I think. I'm really glad that I bought this because by now, after all the times that I've cycled this through, I would have thought that it was completely clear. But, and again, here's a warning for you. Look away if you don't like to see, I don't know, stuff. Watch this. All of that that's still sitting in my tank. I'm going to keep doing this until it gets really clear. And I'll let you guys go about your day. That's all I have for this video. As always, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Check us out on the website. And we'll see you guys on the next one. This line has been cleaned.